A lot of people don't know this, but drop shipping was actually one of the very first side hustles I ever attempted after first hearing the word side hustle. I was just months out from reading the book Rich Dad Poor Dad, which had completely rewritten the way that I thought about money and honestly life in general. And someone ran this ad to me on Facebook about Amazon FBA drop shipping. Uh, now, if you're not familiar with that model, you buy a bunch of stuff in bulk from China at a pretty steep discount, then you send it over to Amazon and then Amazon will sell it to their customers at a profit. Now I'm pretty good at entering information into a computer, so I decided to give it a shot. And after doing tons of research, I chose my very first product, these egg yolk separators, and ordered literally hundreds of them from China. My results overall were, let's just say less than impressive. Now, since that complete train wreck failure, I have never touched drop shipping again until a few months ago when something sparked my interest, when someone reached out to me to tell me about a new DFY drop shipping business they were running. And a few really specific things caught my attention. One, they weren't using the traditional model for sourcing products or for selling products. What they were doing was so so much easier on both sides of the stick, and I'm gonna talk about that here in a minute. And two, the model that they were showing me was so lucrative financially that it would completely pay itself off in six months, and I would own a store making three to $5,000 a month in profit at that point. Now, as you guys know, I'm absolutely terrible on math, especially when I'm on camera, but I'm good enough to know that those numbers are worth a conversation. So I hopped on a Zoom call with them to get a better idea of what it is that they were doing. So all these products that you see on here are products that we're taking from Walmart, Amazon, eBay, whatever the case is. So we're taking, like if it's a shower curtain right here, right? And we're, we're listing it here. We're obviously marking that up. And then if we come and we look at orders and we come down to here, you will see, you know, people purchasing these products for a marked up price, normally again, coming from Amazon, Amazon, Walmart, or eBay. And here's what these guys were doing. Instead of sourcing from China and selling on Amazon on their own Shopify store, they were using a kind of new way to sell products online called Facebook shops. Now, if you're not familiar with Facebook marketplace, it's kind of like this local buy and sell shop online where you can go and say, hey, I've got this old iPhone. Is anybody interested? and other people can say, yes, I'm interested. We meet up, we make the sale and we're done. But a little while later, they introduced something called Facebook Shops. And what Facebook Shops is, is kind of like Amazon, but built on Facebook. So if I head over to Facebook Marketplace and I say, hey, I'm looking for an action camera. Well, I'm gonna get a bunch of people locally selling action cameras. But what I'm also gonna get is I'm gonna get Facebook Shops. I'm gonna get shops all over the country that also sell action cameras and are offering action cameras. And I can choose to buy locally or I can choose to buy from one of these shops. And in fact, now when I go to search to buy something from Facebook, Facebook Marketplace, I can choose, do I want to buy locally or do I want to just buy from one of these shops? And you can see right here, it looks very similar to Amazon. It's a little bit, well, let's say it's a lot of bit simpler, but you create these little shops on Facebook and you can sell anything on your shop. Now, what was cool here is when someone orders, they're not sourcing it from China. They're not really sourcing at all. They're just having a team member purchase or source that product straight from Walmart, Amazon, or eBay. Now, I know that sounds easy and it sounded easy to me. So I asked the same question that you're probably asking right now. Why don't I just go do this myself? Now that I know this exists, why go with you? So we just developed an eye for it for, you know, you know, almost like two years of doing it now. So it's really just, you know, being able to get our expertise and getting these shops scaled up a lot quicker than, you know, if you did it, it could take you know, anywhere from like three, four, five, six months for you to learn it. Like if you weren't trying to purchase any course or anything like that, and you were just trying to go in and just, you know, trial and error and learn it yourself, it's going to take a little while. It can be done, but it's definitely going to take you a, a little, a long time and you're going to have to, you know, stick with it and you're going to fail multiple times. So essentially like with anything, right, we have to choose the right products. We have to make stuff rank. And then we have to have a team that fulfills all this and makes all this work. And that's obviously hard to figure out. These guys have been doing it for a few years and they can confidently say that they can make it work. But honestly, at that point, I didn't really care about doing it myself because if I could put 10 to $15,000 into something that pays itself completely off in less than half a year and then generates four figures of profit every month after that while being completely managed by someone else who's not me, I'm sold. All right, headed over to the bank right now. Don't worry, I'm at a stop sign. Uh, anyway, this is the no turning back point. So we're gonna go send the money. It's a pretty good chunk of change. And once I send the money, uh, this isn't a, this isn't a free refunds kind of thing. Uh, they're gonna get started and uh, we'll see how it goes. I'm excited. A little longer than a few minutes later. All right, we're done. You know, it's been a while since I wired money, but geez, they print off a lot of paper when you wire money. All right, so I set the money and there's really no turning back now, but I learned a couple other things on my call with them this morning that 
were pretty cool. So the first one is they set up the shop and then they send you a laptop with access to your shop that basically just has to sit open on your desk and remain online. Now that's your Facebook shop, you own it, they just need access to it so that they can be online. Now this is honestly like a dream to me since a laptop that literally sits there and prints money has been one of my goals for years. They've also got this spreadsheet right here that keeps track of everything simply for you so that you can just log in, quickly see uh, if you're making money at all, what your profits are, things like that. Now the way it works is it builds on itself. So in month one, you're gonna make a couple hundred dollars because they're just starting to get products going online. But month two, they're gonna continue with all those successful products from the previous month, then they're gonna go find new ones so that you're making more. And then obviously month three, four, five, and six continue to grow off each of these months and so you're supposedly making more every single month. All right, so this is the laptop. You can see just a pretty normal looking Chromebook. And I assume all I need to do is open this up and we're gonna set it up with internet, connect it to the Wi-Fi, scoot it back in the corner of the desk and let it sit. All right, so in all honesty, I don't know what to do at this point. I think we just let the laptop do its thing and I sit here and let it ride. So I'm just gonna go back to normal life work and we'll check back in in a week. One week later. All right, so this is the spreadsheet they gave me and you can see it's starting to be filled. So you can see right here, we've got the December tab. Uh, this is about a week and a bit later. So uh, it took them a little while to get the shop going, but on December 6th, we started to see sales coming in. Obviously I'm blurring out the customer's name, but you can see products here. Whatever the heck a camp, camper leveler is, phone holder, tool tray, keys. Okay, and then you can see over here, we've got uh, how much they're selling it for, how much they're buying it for, the net profit, and then profit margins right here. So that's pretty much everything that I need to know, right? Uh, it looks like they are profiting um, a couple times a day at least, and this is only a week in, which is pretty exciting. Now I'm gonna hop into the Facebook shop real quick and make sure that this is actually what's going on, right? This isn't some kind of crazy Ponzi, but I'm just gonna make sure that my Facebook shop actually is showing sales that matches up with what I'm seeing here. And, uh, and then I think we're just gonna let this roll. All right, you can see right here in the Facebook store, yes, there are actually sales happening so that the data all matches up and everything. I'm able to see both, which is awesome. It obviously helps to be able to see the real actual sales inside of Facebook where they can't manipulate any data or anything like that. And everything honestly seems super legit. I'm just gonna let this ride. I'm gonna let the money, money printer do its thing. All right, so I held off for a while, resisted looking over the Christmas holidays, resisted doing anything. And now we've been doing this for a full 30 days. Uh, we're into January now. We've completed a full month with these guys. And here we'll hop on the screen and show you. This is the same spreadsheet, but this is just the overview page. You can see in December, total sales of 2,300 total purchases of 1500 total net profit 842 with a crazy 54% ROI. And then the split means that I made $421. That's what I'm talking about. And even better, my first payment just arrived in PayPal. You can see $421 right in my PayPal account. They offered to do direct deposit, but PayPal is so much more fun. All right, so it is the final update on how this experiment has gone. This feels like the world's longest experiment. We're two months in now. It's a couple days into February and we're gonna hop in and see what our results are like two months in. Sorry for all the lighting changes. Let's hop in and see what we've got. All right, so again, we're gonna blur out customer data, but you can see this is the month of January. Sales picked up quite a bit. We had four sales on the second, four sales, four sales, five sales. So it looks like we're getting five, six, seven sales a day. And each of those sales is resulting in, it looks like 20 to $30 in net profit. All right, so looking at our month overall, again, $5,000 in total gross sales, $3,000 in total purchases, just under $2,000 in net profit, an even higher profit margin. And now I've made $993 this month, uh, which brings the total to about $1,400 that I've been able to pay off in what I paid them. All right, now I just wanted to see if everything else held true, if everything stayed the same exactly like it has been, and they continue to do what they've been doing, how long it would take for this to actually pay off. So they have a bunch of different packages ranging from 4,000 up to 30,000. What I was doing here was the $15,000 package. And so I kind of wanted just to see how long it would take before it completely paid itself off and I was break even making profit. You can see here we did 421 the first month, 993 the next month. I'm going to assume that they add about $550 in new profit every single month from here on out. And uh, that just makes sense because they're continuing to build on the previous months. So you can see in month three, I would do about 1400, then 1900, 2500, all the way up to eight months from now, I would expect to be making about $4,100. Now I'm gonna use some uh, pretty cool math that I learned in uh, probably elementary school. And we'll just add these up and see where we land. $1,800. So this means that if everything holds true, if this continues on the way it has been, I will be $3,000 in the profit eight months from now. And somewhere around the seven month mark is when I will actually break even and have completely paid off what I had initially invested in this dropshipping store. Uh, let's get ready to rumble!
Now I'm fully aware, obviously, everything does not necessarily always have to hold true, but I'm pretty excited about these results. To have things go the first two months almost exactly like they were supposed to go is really, really exciting. Two more things, I will leave a Calendly link down below. You can actually hop on a call and just talk with these guys if this is something you're interested in as well. It'll just be their direct Calendly link. They're pretty open to chatting, and so I'll leave that link down below. And then the second thing is this actually will continue, and so in six months we will be releasing a video, or four months we'll release a video that goes over exactly where this ended up and how this played out. If you want to know how it played out, you've got to click subscribe. And as long as you're clicking subscribe, there's a cool comment button and a like button you can click as well. See you in four months.